Hello from the Small Business Center. I am Rehan Abdul Mukhni with another edition of our video blog. Today I'm going to share with you 10 ways to use Pinterest to market your small business and also to let you know that on August 9th we have a free webinar on how to use Pinterest for small business marketing. But more about that in a moment. Let's get started with today's topic. Tip number one, use your business name. Pinterest currently does not have business accounts, only personal accounts. So when you set your Pinterest account up, you will be asked for your first name, your last name, and your username instead of a business name. If this is a business Pinterest account, instead of using your own name, you may want to use your business name as we have done here with our first name being small business and last name being center. Also we have used our username as SB Center because the URL will be unique to you. Therefore Pinterest.com slash whatever username you select. Now username can be from three characters up to 15 characters. If your business name is longer than 15 characters you may have to shorten it like we have done here instead of using a small business center as our username we are using SB Center. Once you set your account up as your business name it will show up on your Pinterest page as your business name up here rather than your personal name. Tip number two describe your business properly using keywords. Make sure that your business your product and or your services are described in the about page using the keywords so that when somebody is searching for your type of product, your type of services or your type of business it will be easy for them to show up. Once you have entered the information in the about setting in the about section it will show up right below your name in on your Pinterest page. Tip number three make sure that you have your website URL as well as your social media profile URLs on Pinterest. So in this case for example in the website area you can put your website or you should put your website name or your website URL but also you probably want to put your Facebook and your, and your Twitter profiles as well. Once you have set that up it will show up right below the description under your website your Twitter profile and your Facebook profile. Tip number four, build your brand recognition by uploading a high quality profile image on Pinterest. This is most probably going to be your logo as you would like your logo to be associated with your brand. Once you have uploaded the logo that will appear next to your name and your description. Tip number five, use keywords in your board names. As you can see in our board names we have a small business webinars, search engine optimization, social media marketing, business blogging and entrepreneurship. On the other hand there are some boards that we have that are not keyword optimized such as our members board, uh, out and about, uh, from the web etc. These are the ones that we are not really looking to generate traffic to our Pinterest account or to our website. These are there just for fun to engage with our Pinterest audience. But the ones that are important for us they do have keyword specific board names because these are good for search engine optimization as well. Tip number six build relationships. Make sure that you are connecting with other users on Pinterest, that you are sharing their boards, that you are repinning their images, that you are commenting on their boards and their pins and that you're liking their boards and pins. Of course only if it is appropriate. This will encourage them to like your boards, that will encourage them to like your pins and to share your Pinterest boards with their followers. Tip number seven, use a variety of content. As I mentioned earlier we have some very product specific images and boards here but we also have other other images and videos as well that are used for fun and not simply promoting our business but also engaging with our audience on Pinterest as well. 
Tip number eight, pin videos, not just images. Not a lot of Pinterest users today are pinning videos. They are only pinning images. If you are pinning videos, it is something extra, something not everybody is doing, and so people are going to be engaged with you a lot more than if it was just an image. Tip number nine, use keywords in your pin description. You have up to 500 characters that you can use to describe that particular pin. Once again, use the keywords so it will be easy for people looking for your type of product, your type of services to find you, not just on Pinterest, but also on search engines like Google and Bing. And tip number 10, link pins to your website. Every pin that you post on Pinterest, make sure that your, they are all linking back to your website. More, appropriate, more appropriately that they're linking back to a specific page on your website rather than just your home page. So whatever that image, whatever that video is related to, link it specifically to that page. So that was our 10 tips on using Pinterest for marketing your small business. As I mentioned earlier, on August 9th, we are going to have a free webinar, an hour-long webinar, when we are going to dig a little bit more deeper into using Pinterest for a small business marketing. We are going to go very basic at first and, and explain to you what Pinterest is and why you should care about that and show you the basics of using Pinterest. Then we are going to share some of the best practices of Pinterest, of successful usage of Pinterest, and how to optimize Pinterest for search, as well as how to use Pinterest to generate inbound traffic to your website. And then we are going to look at some of the creative ideas and examples that other businesses, in particular small businesses, are using Pinterest to generate marketing efforts for themselves. So join us for the webinar on Pinterest marketing for a small business on Thursday, August 9th, 2012 at 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, or at 7 p.m. British time. Also connect with us on our Facebook or our Twitter page, and I'll see you on our next video blog.